All right, so I thought I'd do a walk around on my wife's 66 Bronco I built for her and have nothing going this evening for the Mustang, so I'm going to do a review of my wife's 66 Bronco half cab. When we found this thing, it was uh, baby blue and white uh, half cab six cylinder. And it took about four or five years to do a frame off restoration on it or resto mod. Built this truck with mostly stuff we had laying around. Um, a lot of the Mustang parts on it that we had. Uh, either that or off wild horses or Tom's scratch and dent spots. So. It's a 91 5 liter. Like I said, it was just laying in my shed doing nothing. I originally thought about doing a Cummins 4BT swap on this, but this was sitting there, so figured why not put it to use. So use the coolant reservoir out of a full size Bronco. Power steering hose, I uh, believe, if I remember right, were a 78 Thunderbird going from the 91 power steering pump down to the Bronco power rack. Haven't had any issues. Uh, a buddy of mine had this electric fan sitting in his house, so uh, it's kept it cool so far. It gets pretty warm here in Colorado. Uh, sometimes over 100-105 degrees and I've had no issues. Uh, did do a power steering cooler up front just uh, if you're ever out climbing, rock crawling, whatever, you keep it cool. So another thing we had laying on the shelf. So when we restored this a buddy of mine was also doing his and it was pretty pretty rough at the time so when he'd buy parts I would often make them and mock them up so I did the power steering box in out of plate steel that I had did uh, disc brakes um, through O'Reilly's they're 78 full-size Bronco or F-150 if I remember right I did do a wild horses lift on it to give it a little clearance be able to get 31s on it since this truck was uncut I didn't want to go too big on the tire um, so 31 10 50s was all I was able to get but I didn't want to cut this truck because it was almost rust free. I mean the only thing, some weeds had grown up here into the rockers and I put rockers on it. I didn't like the vacuum wipers so uh, the old choke by the way was uh, turned into my check engine light so It'll uh, come on red when you go to start it, and then if there's any trouble, of course, it'll it'll come on while you're driving, and then you can use the code reader or whatever to uh, figure out what your code is. So, old Grant steering wheel I had laying around. You can see the shifter was made to fit with the use of the hot wrench torch. Center console came out of a full-size Bronco. Junkyard find. And normally there's a power adapter in there. Seat was a scratch and dent uh, from Tom's, I believe. Uh, the fold and tumble away. This truck was originally a half cab 
and being as we have kids, I uh, had to make this up to, to fit. The roll bar I got from a buddy of mine that already had the three-point belts on it. Got a jack carrier there for out of a junkyard out of some Ford. Put a, let's see if I can see it here, cigarette lighter power port back here if you're airing up the mattress or whatever you need out on the trail. This exhaust came off my dad's Galaxy, I believe. It was uh, sitting in his backyard, so. As you'll see with most of any of the builds I do, it's usually with crap I've got laying around if I can, so. 411s uh, were in it originally. Yeah, so back to anyway about the wipers. I never cared for the vacuum wipers. They didn't work with a darn here at 5,000 feet anyway. So we had some uh, electric wipers from uh, Model A. And they work regardless what elevation you're at, so. Had to make the wiper arms uh, out of some junkyard pieces and the torch to get them straight. The computer uh, and harness were ran through here in up underneath the dash. And somebody at some point had cut the dash and they had a ridiculous like five by seven speaker here. So the computer actually sits behind there and uh, seems to stay dry no matter if I'm power washed it or whatever I've had no problems these seats came from O'Reilly they were like 150 bucks 125 bucks and then since this was a bench seat pickup I just modified the uh, cut up the brackets and modified them to fit these tracks they slide forward and backward, no problem. My wife picked out the colors. This is her third Bronco that she's had gray. Uh, my father and I painted it. It came out pretty good. I do have a full size, or I'm sorry, a full hard top for it. Um, and I sold the half cab to a buddy and uh, helps help pay for the build what I didn't have laying on hand. Uh, this is a Corvette master cylinder. Again, this thing's laying around. And eventually I'll get around to converting the AC to make it into a compressor. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's got underdrive pulleys. Mustang stuff I had laying around Wasn't able to use the Mustang headers, so I had to use some 302 manifolds uh, It was a manual steering and Manual brakes when I got it so had to do a little cutting and uh, use some I did it U joints to Convert it to power steering slide underneath here made a skid plate I believe that was off a Nissan or something and cut it down split it in the middle and rewelded it give the transfer case a little bit of protection Not sure how that picture is going to turn out. I didn't do Adelie's, I did a full spring kit from Wild Horses. And 
and the tank is from Tom's if I remember uh, again I got it for like half price for scratch and dent and I had a Mustang pump laying around for in the tank so you can see it's all pretty clean uh, like I said the only sheet metal I had to patch it all was the rockers and I got these wheels really cheap from a buddy so I think they look pretty good on it and I'll let you hear it real quick You'll have to forgive me, I had the computer out. I used the computer in my Mustang while I was trying to track down wiring, so I just put it back in. It's got a pretty good sound. Uh, Flowmaster two chambers, and like I said, they were just stuff we had laying around. So, Alright, so that's her 66 half cab. Let me know what you think. And uh, any comments, I appreciate it. And keep watching, and we'll do more reviews of uh, other things we got laying around here. So, thank you.